Um, how sure are we that our body is getting adequate oxygen? Uh, oxygen therapy begins to become universally used. Uh, aerobic oxygen is marketed throughout the world. Elkin distributors have a very unique opportunity. Elkin is the exclusive distributor of stabilized aerobic oxygen in Malaysia and throughout Asia. You have a tremendous opportunity here. Other, other types of oxygen therapies. Um, if, if you go to uh, the airports, you'll find in the airports, many of the airports, what they call an oxygen kiosk. And you can go sit down and get a little mask of oxygen and they'll give you some, uh, some oxygen. And that is a therapy. It boosts the energy. It revives you. It's the type of oxygen that we breathe only in a little bit purer form. There are other forms of oxygen as well. Uh, we talked a few minutes ago about cancer, and I, I, I try not to get too heavily involved in cancer. However, it's important to know the far-reaching effects of oxygen therapy. Almost every cancer clinic uses some form of oxygen therapy. The reason for that is, is that cancer cannot survive in the presence of high concentrations of oxygen. You will only find oxygen in area, or cancer in areas of low oxygen within the body. We all, how many people have cancer cells in their bodies? Everybody put up your hands. Uh, unfortunately, it's not one out of three, it's one out of everyone. We have them there. Whether they manifest themselves or not will be dependent upon your immune system and how strong it is. Oxygen is very important in helping that immune system to stay strong. These are other areas of the first oxygen bar. Oxygen free, is it free, isn't it? We breathe oxygen, but is it really free? The oxygen we breathe is not free. Not because we have to pay for it, but we pay because it is not pure oxygen. It has become polluted. And as we're drawing oxygen into our bodies, we're drawing pollution into the bodies as well. 